Welcome to another instructional video from Everlast Refiner. In this video I will show you how to install an Everlast Refiner bypass oil filter system on a 2008 Sterling truck with a Mercedes OM 460 LA engine. Uh, this kit comes complete with everything you'll require to do the entire installation uh, and includes a number 40 bypass oil refiner uh, this oil refiner comes equipped with a 12 volt DC heated lid, uh, dispersion plate assembly, inlet and outlet hoses, mounting bracket, regulating valve, oil sampling valve, oil pan fitting adapter, oil filter housing adapter, installation hardware kit, inline fuse, power and ground wire assemblies, all the necessary consumable materials, and one number 40 filter element. Additional filter elements can be purchased at everlastrefiner.com. First, install the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket is installed on the passenger side of the cross member located just below and behind the truck cab using the quarter 20 by 1 inch bolts, nuts, and lock washers provided in the hardware kit. Next, Orient the refiner canister so that the return port located on the side of the canister is facing toward the driver's side. Install the refiner canister on the bracket just installed using the quarter 20 by 1 inch bolts, nuts, and lock washers provided in the hardware kit. Once installed, the refiner canister must be reasonably level. Next, Using the thread sealant provided, attach the non-swivel end of the 3 quarter inch return hose assembly to the return port on the side of the canister. Route this 3 quarter inch return hose down and forward along the driver's side frame rail to the engine oil pan. Remove the accessory port plug located on the driver's side of the oil pan and drain the engine oil. Once drained, install the M22 by 1.5 to number 12 JIC adapter provided in the hardware kit on the oil pan accessory port. This adapter has an O-ring and does not require thread sealant. Next, attach the 3 quarter inch 90 degree JIC swivel end of the return hose assembly to the adapter just installed. This is a JIC connection and does not require thread sealant. This hose assembly returns oil to the oil pan by gravity, so the hose assembly must go downhill all the way to the oil pan connection. At no point in the routing of the return hose assembly should it go dramatically uphill. Uh, secure the routing of the return hose assembly as required with the provided tie wraps and replace the engine oil and check for leaks. Next we're going to install the engine oil supply line. Using the thread sealant compound provided, install the oil sample valve and the oil regulating valve assemblies onto the bottom inlet port of the oil refiner canister as shown. There are two valves attached to the bottom of the oil refiner canister. One on the side with the 90 degree elbow and plug is for taking oil samples. The bottom valve is for regulating the flow rate of the incoming oil. Next, using the thread sealant compound provided, install the non-swivel end of the one quarter inch oil supply line assembly to the bottom valve on the oil refiner canister. Route the engine oil supply line assembly down and forward along the passenger side frame rail to the engine oil filter housing port located just below the turbo and remove this port. Be prepared to catch some residual oil uh, you may get a couple of ounces out of this port. Finally, install the uh, M14 by 1.5 to 1 quarter inch JIC adapter provided in the installation kit. These are O-ring boss and JIC connections and do not require thread sealant. Install the JIC end of the engine oil supply line assembly to the adapter just installed and secure the pressure hose assembly routing as required with the tie wraps provided. Next, we're going to make the electrical connections to the heated lid of the thermal dehydrator, which is located on the top of the oil refiner canister. 
First, access the power distribution panel located inside the passenger side of the cabin dashboard. Route the red power wire through the firewall. There is a plug on the driver's side of the firewall. Pierce it and route the power wire through and across the dashboard to the power distribution panel. Install the inline fuse and connect the fuse to slot number 5 as shown. Route the red power wire down and along the driver's side frame rail following the existing wire harness. At the rear of the cab, route the red power wire up along the existing air lines as shown. Strip the end of the wire and crimp the number 10 blue hoop connector provided onto the exposed end of the wire and attach it to one of the heating element posts on the lid. It does not matter which post, the heating element is not polarity sensitive. It simply needs to be provided with a power and a ground. Secure the wire routing with the tire wraps provided as required. Next, attach the ground wire assembly to the remaining post of the oil refiner heated lid assembly and attach it to one of the bracket bolts. Okay, now it's time to operationally check the system and set the flow rate. So, start the engine and uh, check for leakage at uh, the pressure and re, uh, return connections uh, and at the, uh, the oil refiner canister itself. Uh, next, remove the heated lid. Uh, you may want to use a rag or a glove. Uh, it gets quite hot. Uh, it's not hot enough to burn you actually, but you wouldn't want to hold on to it very long. Uh, watch for oil flow across the dispersion plate. Uh, this may take several minutes, so be patient. Opening the regulating valve fully and running the engine at high idle may help speed up this process. Once flowing, adjust the regulator valve on the bottom of the canister so that a slow even flow of oil covers the step dispersion plate at idle. Once established, run the engine at high speed to ensure that uh, the can will not overflow. If you notice the canister filling up, readjust the regulator valve to slow the flow rate. The typical setting for this installation is one quarter turn open from the closed position. Uh, reinstall the heated lid using a rag or a glove and install the washer and wing nut. Hand tight is fine. Check the oil quantity and top it off.